<clears throat> okay, getting my screen set up. Hello everyone, it's me, it's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class. Yay! Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. If you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything's okay and there are no problems. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Raman, Katie, thank you, Helga, thank you, yay. Okay, well, um, yesterday I had computer problems, so I couldn't be live yesterday, but I solved those, well, sort of. I sort of solved them, and so I'm here live with you. We can do our class today, so I'm very happy that you're here. I'm happy I'm here too. <laughs> okay, good, good. <clears throat> Thank you, Helga. Well, um, you know what we do. We always have a toast for good luck. So let's do that. Let's have our toast for good luck. So whatever you're drinking, please pick it up. I have my orange tumbler. Hello, Tetsuro. And we will have two toasts. Yes, two toasts. Our first toast will be for the green team. You see them. Their names are in green. They support me. They support the channel. By supporting me and the channel, they are supporting everyone. So let's give the green team a big thank you. Cheers. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump. Bump. Cheers. Bump. Cheers. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. So bottoms up. Okay. Hey, Carlos is here. Air lady. Hello, air lady. Nelson is here. Good, good, good. Okay, our second toast. It's for you. Yes, without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, informative, and productive lesson today. Cheers, bump, cheers, bump. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. So bottoms up. Ah, okay, good, 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 good. Well, um... Edward, hello. Let's talk, <clears throat> let's talk about today's class. And here is the, um, right here is the lesson plan. This is what we're going to do today. <laughs> and we are going to do form a sentence. I'm going to write a pattern on the board and you will write sentences based on the pattern. Then after that, we will do a conversation from my book. This is book three, 50 Very Short Conversations. <clears throat> then we will do a worksheet, 10 Very Short Conversations. The worksheets we do here on my live stream classes, they are on my Patreon page. Support me on Patreon and get the worksheets we do in the live stream classes. So we're going to do, we're actually going to um, watch a video and then do the worksheet. Then, after that, we're going to do an idiom worksheet. Uh, the idiom is cut corners. We have example sentences done by the green team. So we will look at their sentences. And then you will uh, write sentences based on the idiom cut corners. And then our fifth activity will be another worksheet. Which one is different? <clears throat> And the topic is, I'll show you right here. Hold on, it's cold in here, so my fingers aren't working very well. <laughs> 50 very short conversations, and the topic is fire, fire, fire. And again, all the worksheets are on my Patreon, so the idiom worksheets on my Patreon. 10 very short conversations on my Patreon. The which one is different worksheet, fire, that is on my Patreon page. So. Support me on Patreon and get all the worksheets we do in the live stream classes. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, Umesh is here. Hello, Umesh. Oh, Veronica. Hello, Veronica. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> okay, let's get right to it, shall we? Our first activity is form a sentence. So I need to get my pen right here. I have a pen. Right here is the pattern and I will write it on the board. Here we go, open the cap, 
it's very cold in here and so my hands are, are very uh, cold and very stiff. <laughs> Carlos, peace. Okay, um, here we go. Form a sentence. This is activity number one. So I will write one. And then here is the pattern. I have been. Okay, now we need a verb. ING verb. <clears throat> and then we're gonna you're gonna say use for or since depending on the time phrase. Okay, and then it continues before that comma I and then we need a ed a regular past tense verb. Okay, so this is our pattern. Oh, uh, Umesh, I had, um, so yesterday I had computer problems. Actually, my browser wasn't working. So I use a Mac computer and my browser I use is Safari. But for some reason, my browser wasn't opening up. So I couldn't um, have the, um, I couldn't, I, I couldn't open the software to do the uh, live stream class. On my YouTube channel, I have special software for um, live streaming, and my browser wouldn't open it. So I'm using Chrome right now, but I couldn't um, open the browser, or my browser um, couldn't open the software to live stream. So I didn't know why, anyways. So that is the reason it was software problems. Okay. <clears throat> Here is the pattern. So I have been and then ing for and then we have a time phrase before that I and then we have simple past. Okay so here we have the the um, present perfect continuous. So for example I have been living. Okay I, I'm so this is my experience. Okay my experience. I'm going to write it right here. Here is my sentence. <clears throat> I have been living, okay, <clears throat> it's my experience, I have been living in Japan, whoops, 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 no, 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 okay, I have been living in Japan, and I'm going to say four. I'm going to use four. I'm going to use um, a continuous uh, time. Okay, not a not a point in time, but a duration of time. Not a pointed time. Pointed time is sense. I'm going to use a duration of time. I have been living in Japan for 26 years. Okay, we're going to continue. <clears throat> we're going to continue. Before that, <clears throat> comma. Now I'm going to use just the simple past because it, it's finished. Before that, I lived in LA, Los Angeles. Okay, now <clears throat> I don't. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Don't need this here. Okay. <clears throat> now, for our pattern here. Okay, I have been living. Okay, I-N-G. I have been living in Japan for 26 years. <clears throat> Before that, I lived in Los Angeles. Okay, so here our first part, our first sentence, I have been living in Japan for 25, 26 years. So, um, I'm living in Japan now, right? So from the past, let's do this, and now. Okay, so this duration, so it's been 26 years. So 26 years ago, so that would be 1996. Whoops, whoops, whoops. <clears throat> okay. 
1996. Okay, started and now. So continuing. So I'm using have been. I have been living in Japan for 26 years. And then before that, so before that, before 1996, before that, I lived in Los Angeles, LA. Okay, so here I'm using, <clears throat> I'm using the ED, the, the simple past, because it's in the past and it's finished in the past. So I'm using um, ED. Okay, it happened in the past and <clears throat> it happened, finished, now I'm living in Japan. Right, so this has been Japan. Okay. Okay, so let's see your sentences now. Now I'm looking at the chat. Tetsuro says, I have been studying English for the past three years. Before that, I studied nothing. Okay, good, good, good. Nice sentence, uh, Tetsuro. Okay, Veronica, I have been working for 15 years. Before that, I stayed at home. Okay, good, good. Hello, good morning, um, NS. Good sentence. Air lady, I have been living in the United States over 15 years. Okay, good. So let's go four over. Okay, Air lady, four over 15 years. Okay, let's use, so four over over 15 years. Okay, Air Lady, for over 15 years. Carlos, I have been living in Texas for 20 years. Before that, I lived in Monterey, Mexico. Nice. Okay, Raman, I have been watching this live stream since 6.30 a.m. Indian time. Before that, I brushed my teeth and cleaned my bed. Nice. Everyone's, okay, great job. This is, this is, um, you know, this is not easy. But you guys, you guys are doing it. Nice. I'm happy. Okay. Hanen, I have been living in America since 2015. Okay, that's a point in time. Good. Since 2015. Before that, I lived in Egypt. Good. Perfect use of sense, right? So, for duration, for 26 years, and then a point in time since 2015. Very good. Okay, let's see. Tetsuro, I have been walking, waking up. Okay, now, um, not, not that, because um, I have been, that's a duration. Okay, so um, I, I, you, you don't waking up. You can say I've been getting, uh, yeah, yeah, Tetra, you want uh, an action, like a continuous action, because we have the ing, so this is the, the a progressive form, progressive form. So actually, this is the um, present perfect progressive form, okay, because it's happening over a duration of time, from the past to now. So um, your example is wrong, Tetra. Okay, Air Lady, I have been living in the United States for over 15 years. Good, good, good. So we're using four. Nice job, Air Lady. Okay, <clears throat> Raman, I have been cleaning my home since this afternoon. Since um, this afternoon. Before that, I watch TV. Good. Okay, Raman, um, this afternoon. This afternoon. That's good. I have been cleaning my home since this afternoon, so um, point in time, this afternoon, this afternoon. Good, 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 Nice, nicely done. Okay, Tetsuro, oh, Ava's here, hello, Ava. Mwah. Okay, Tetsuro, I have been leading a regular life for the past three years, before that, I usually stayed up late. Okay, good, Tetsuro, there you go. Helga, I have been watching Mark's lessons for 15 minutes. That's right, duration. Before that, I waited for it. Thank you for waiting, Helga. 
Okay, good. Before that, I lived in Brazil. Yes, Air Lady. Good. So, yep. So, okay. Now, Air Lady, do it. Um, do it together. Okay. Do both together now. Okay, Air Lady. For more practice, Umesh, I have been watching Mark's videos for five years. Before that, I watched other videos. Good, good, good. Good sentences, everyone. Everyone's doing well. Nice, nice, nice. Kating, I have been studying English for three years. Before that, I studied nursing. Okay, you don't need course, Kayleigh, uh, um, Kayleigh, just nursing. That's good. Before that, I studied <coughs> nursing. We don't need course. Hello, Jeanette. Cecilia. Hello, Cecilia. Oh, oh, okay, good one. I have been living in India for four years. Good. How about before that? Before that, I lived in Umesh. I have been shaving my beard for 15 minutes. Before that, I drank coffee. <clears throat> Nelson, I have been watching Mark's lesson for one hour. Before that, I waited for it. Thank you, Nelson. I appreciate your waiting. I appreciate your patience. Hello, Yen. And learners here. Hello, learner. Okay, good, good air lady. Okay, Katie and I have been studying English for three years. Before that, I studied nursing. Perfect. Okay, Raman. I have been practicing English with you since this January. Before that, I learned English all by myself. Nice, Raman. Good sentence. Yeah, thank you, Carlos. So, Carlos is congratulating everyone appreciating everyone's sentences. We can learn from each other. So um, um, we are all learning from each other and we are all improving from each other. Yes. Kamar, hello. Suza, hello. Tetsuro, I have woke. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, okay. Tetsuro, I have been getting up. Okay, getting. Okay, so we need we need to change your your sentence a little bit, Tetsuro. Okay, but that works. I have been getting up at 4 a.m. for the past three years. Before that, I woke up at seven. Yes, but we want to say getting up. I have been getting up. Okay, Air Lady, I have been living in the United States for over 15 years before. That I lived in Brazil. So, Air Lady, before that, you need you need that there. Before that, I lived in Brazil. <clears throat> okay, Jara. Okay, oh, Umesh, I have been watering flowers for 30 minutes. Before that, I exercise. Good, Umesh. All right, uh, Jara, I have been in the United States for six months. Before that, I came from Mexico to visit my family greeting. So, so we want to say um, living. Tanya, Tanya, living. I have been living in the United States for six months. Before that, I lived in Mexico. Veronica, I have been learning more English since I found Mark. <laughs> Yay. Okay, Madalena, I have been living in Orlando for 19 years. Orlando, Florida. Okay, that's where Disneyland, Disney World is. That's where Disney World is. I've been there once, a long time ago. Um, my mother lived in Gulfport, and I drove from Gulfport to Orlando and went to Disney World for two days. <laughs> One night, two days. Ava, I, uh, I have been living in Prague since 1983. Before that, I lived with my parents. Well, where does your parents live? So maybe town. So, so maybe w which part of um, the Czech Republic? So um, I know, Ava, you got married, so you lived with you moved in with your husband, 
But um, which part of the Czech Republic? Are they both Prague? Carlos, I've been, okay, I missed it. Hold on, Carlos, Carlos. Let's see. Carlos, I've been working by myself for eight years before that. I worked in a company. Very good. Carlos, congratulations for being an entrepreneur, to be your own boss. That's great. Tetsuo, I've been getting up at 4 a.m. for the past year, four years before that. I woke up at 7. Nice. Hanan, I have understood English better since I started learning it with Mark. Before that, I didn't understand it at all. Very good. I'm happy to hear that. Susa, uh, I have been learning English for two years. Before that, I learned English by myself. Very good. Lisa, hello. Lisa says, good morning. I have been doing exercises for five years. Before that, I, did, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Let's see, Helga, I have been reading books since my childhood. Before that, I didn't know the letters. Or you could say, um, before that, I um, didn't read or I couldn't read. Okay, I have been cooking spaghetti for 20 minutes. Before that, I took my dog for a walk. I took my dog for a walk because we just want... Because walking, that's I-N-G, that's progression, so no, no, no. So just before that, I took my dog for a walk. Air Lady, I've been in the United States for 15 years. Before that, I lived in Brazil. Perfect, 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 perfect. Tetsuo, I have been reading um, this book for the past hour. Before that, I did laundry. Okay, Tetsuo, uh, I have been reading this book. Not the book, but this book. Okay, Tanya. I have been living in the US for six months. Before that, I lived in Mexico. Perfect. You're welcome, Air Lady. Umesh, I've been, I have been Prime Minister for two years. Before that, I was Chief Minister. We have a famous politician in the chat. <laughs> Learner, I've been living in Canada. Before that, I lived in, um, yeah, Africa. The I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I'm sorry, learner. Erit. Oh, I, I need to hear the pronunciation. I'm so sorry. Okay, learner, I have been living in Canada. How long? How long? Four. We're using, we're practicing four in sense. Time, phrase, time, time. Okay, I'm not okay. There you go, Ava. I, I don't know how to to pronounce that. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe I could if I heard the pronunciation, but just reading the the reading the the name, I I, I can't pronounce it. I I'm not sure how to. I feel embarrassed. Okay, Tetsu, I have been reading this book. Good, good, good. Okay, I'm looking at the clock. We got to change activities. Everyone's done really well. Um, this is actually a pretty complicated sentence but uh, or pattern. This is a complicated pattern with complicated grammar, but you guys did great. We're using two, um, two verb types here. We're using the, the uh, present perfect continuous. So this is very complicated, yeah? The, the present perfect continuous. Then we're using a time phrase. And then we're using the uh, simple past tense or just the past tense. So we're, we're using like three elements together. We're using the present perfect continuous, four sense with uh, a time phrase, and then the, the um, past tense all together. So um, good job, everyone. Well done. I'm happy. But it's time we change activities. I'm looking at the clock. We're busy today. We have lots to do, so I need to change. Okay, I'm going to read last one. This is my last one, Mubarak. Hello, Mubarak. I have been living in the U.S. for one year. Before that, I lived in Russia. Very good. <clears throat> well done, everyone. It's time to change activities. Manuel, hello, Manuel. 
Sasan is here. Okay, Sasan, I'm going to read. This will be the last one I'm going to read, and then we'll do the next activity. Sasan says, I have not been working for a long time. 15 years ago, um, before that, I was working as a nurse. Okay, Sasan, I have not been... Oh, okay, um, we, we, need to, we need to change your sentence a little bit. I have not been, I have not been working. I have not been working. Um, I have not been working for 15 years. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Before that, I was, before that, I was a nurse. We can do that. Okay. I have not, so we're going to use the negative here. That's okay. I have not been working for 15 years. I have not been working for 15 years. Before that, I was a nurse. So that was is the be verb past tense. I was a nurse. So here we go. One more time. Sasan. I have not been working for 15 years. Before that, I was a nurse. Okay, good, good, good. So, Sasan, go ahead and fix your sentence. Write that in the chat. Okay, we're going to our second activity. <clears throat> that is a conversation in my book, book number three, 50, 50 very short conversations. <clears throat> You're welcome, Sasan. Let's see, please write that sentence, Sasan. I have not been working for 15 years. Before that, I was a nurse. Okay, here we go. Activity number two. Conversation. That's a, activity number two is a conversation. <clears throat> so we're going to do here. Is I'm going to read the conversation and then I want you to listen carefully, and then after I read the conversation, I'm going to read the conversation three times. Oh, okay, here is Sasan. I have not been working. Okay, Sasan, we need working. I have not been working for 15 years. Before that, I was a nurse. Yeah, good, good. So, Sasan, we just need working. Okay, here we go. I'm going to read the conversation three times. Please listen carefully. Then I will write the conversation on the board and we will practice the conversation. We will practice pronunciation and speed. Then we will role play. We will be the conversation. I will read A, you will read B, and then we switch. Okay, good, Sasan. Okay, here we go. This is conversation number three from my book, <clears throat> and here we go. I'm gonna read the conversation three times, so please listen carefully. Here we go. Do you listen to music? Yes, almost every day. What kind of music do you like? I like rock music. I never listen to rock. What do you listen to? Okay, here we go. Second time. <clears throat> Do you listen to music? Yes, almost every day. What kind of music do you like? I like rock music. I never listen to rock. What do you listen to? Okay, here we go. Third time. Do you listen to music? Yes, almost every day. What kind of music do you like? I like rock music. I never listen to rock. What do you listen to? Okay, good, good, good. All right, so I'm going to write the conversation on the board, and then we will practice it together. Let me show you. Here is the picture. So it starts here. Do you listen to music? Yes, almost every day and then it continues down here, okay? So I will write the conversation on the board and we will 
um, practice pronunciation, yeah? Okay, here we go. Take the pen, or take the cap off the pen. Okay, A. A says, do you listen to music? Do you listen to music? B. Okay, let's go three times. Pronunciation practice. Here we go. Do you listen to music? Do you listen to music? Do you listen to music? And then B says, yes, almost every day. Yes, almost every day. Okay. Yes, almost every day. Yes, almost every day. Yes, almost every day. Do you listen to music? Yes, almost every day. A says, What kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you like? Okay, what kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you like? Do you listen to music? Yes, almost every day. What kind of music do you like? B says, <clears throat> I like rock music. I like rock music. <clears throat> I like rock music. I like rock music. I like rock music. Do you listen to music? Yes, almost every day. What kind of music do you like? I like rock music. A says, <clears throat> I never listen to rock. I never listen to rock. <clears throat> I never listen to rock. I never listen to rock. I never listen to rock. Do you listen to music? Yes, almost every day. What kind of music do you like? I like rock music. I never listen to rock. B says, <clears throat> what do you listen to? What? Do you listen to? Question. What do you listen to? What do you listen to? What do you listen to? Do you listen to music? Yes, almost every day. What kind of music do you like? I like rock music. I never listen to rock. What do you listen to? What do you listen to? Okay, good, good. All right. Well, um, let's go. Let's go fast now. Okay. So we kind of went slow, right? So let's go faster. Manual, nice, good, good. Manual. That's the way to do it. Okay. Now, manual. We're gonna go faster now. And also, um, okay. Let's do it. Okay. How about this? We're going to go um, one time, we're going to uh, go slowly, but I want you to say it with me, right? So, of course, Manuel is saying he, he, he's listening carefully, right? But um, more than listening carefully, I want you to say it with me. Let's, let's practice speaking. Let's practice saying the sentences, okay? So, we're going to say the sentences together. All right, here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Do you listen to music? Yes, almost every day. 
What kind of music do you like? I like rock music. I never listen to rock. What do you listen to? Okay, now let's say it together and we're going to go a little faster. Let's go a little faster. Here we go. Do you listen to music? Yes, almost every day. What kind of music do you like? I like rock music. I never listen to rock. What do you listen to? Okay, now we're going to say it third time faster. Okay, we're going to go faster now. Okay, here we go. Count down five, four, three, two, one. Do you listen to music? Yes, almost every day. What kind of music do you like? I like rock music. I never listen to rock. What do you listen to? <laughs> okay, okay, good, good, good. All right, now we're actually, let's role play. Let's be the conversation. I will say A, 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 A. You say B, 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 okay? So I'm gonna say A, and then you're gonna say B, okay? So we're gonna be the conversation. We will role play. We are going to practice the conversation together, okay? So here we go, count down. I'm A, you are B. We'll do it three times and then we will switch and then you will be A and I will be B, okay? Here we go, count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Do you listen to music? What kind of music do you like? I never listen to rock. I listen to jazz music. <laughs> I listen to classical music. I listen to, um, let's see, music or what, what kind of, let's see, there's classical music, there's rock music, there's um, country music, there's pop music, there's heavy metal music, there's punk rock music. <laughs> okay, here we go. Second time, I'm A, you are B. Count down, five, four, three, two, one. Do you listen to music? What kind of music do you like? I never listen to rock. Oh, I listen to heavy metal. <laughs> okay, here we go. Third time is the charm. I am A, you are B. Count down, five, four, three, two, one. Do you listen to music? What kind of music do you like? I never listen to rock. Uh, I listen to country music. <laughs> okay, let's switch. Yeah, you are A, I am B. You're going to say A, and I will say B. Okay, here we go. Count down, you are A now. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Yes, almost every day. I like rock music. What do you listen to? Okay, good, good, good. Carlos likes, likes Western country music. Okay, here we go. Second time, you are A, I am B. Count down, five, four, three, two, one, go. Yes, almost every day. I like rock music. What do you listen to? Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, let's do it the third time, all right? You are A, I am B. Let's count down and you start with A. Count down, five, four, three, two, one, go. Yes, almost every day. I like rock music. What do you listen to? 
<laughs> okay, good, 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 good. All right, so um, our, our focus here, the topic is um, do you, okay? And so it, do you, for example, like um, an action or like here in this situation, it's an interest, right? Do you listen to music? Um, is that like your hobby? Is that something you're interested in? Okay, so let's, let's do a little practice here. Um, do you? Okay, and now this would be for an, for an interest or a hobby, okay? An interest. Whoops, 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 whoops. Let's fix it. An interest. Okay, so for example, do you do yoga? Whoops, whoops, just that's all. Um, do you exercise? Okay, so in the chat, um, write some, like, do you, like, activities, right, or interests, um, you know, do you exercise, do you do yoga, do you study English, right? So these are um, verbs here, do you um, do yoga, do you exercise, do you um, play tennis? Okay, there we go, Raman. Do you play, okay, the piano. Do you play the piano? So, so for, for instruments, musical instruments, we use the. Do you play the violin? Do you play the guitar? Do you play the drums? Okay, Veronica, do you play basketball? Do you like hiking? Good, good, Lisa. Tetsuo, do you play video games? Yes, Tanya. Do you exercise every day? Cora, do you play, okay, the guitar. Uh, Tetsuro, do you go trekking? Do you go trekking? Cecilia, do you like reading? Helga, do you take pictures? Madeline, or um, Madalina, do you play soccer? Kadeen, do you speak Portuguese? Trolli, do you play soccer? Hello, Susan. I'm doing well, thank you. It's cold, though. It's very cold here in my office in Japan. Very cold. Okay, Sasan, do you play games on your phone? Lucina, Lucine, Lucini, do you play soccer? Cora, do you play the guitar? Good. Hanan, do you speak English well? Do you go trekking? Good, Tetsuro. All right. Uh, Wong, do you play the drums? Helga, do you like pets? Tetsuro, do you go skiing? Very good. Veronica, do you like meditation? Carlos, do you play baseball? Saima, do you go fishing? These are all great sentences, everyone. Susan, do you play hockey? On, uh, do you brush your teeth three times a day? No, twice, two days. Twice a day. Twice a day for me. Tetsuro, or Helga, do you make cakes? Hello, Juan. Tetsuro, do you eat steak? Nora, do you dance? Roberto, I never listen to, uh, I don't know what kind of music that is. Hanan, do you drink coffee? Yes. Um, Carlos, do you drink a lot of coffee? Yes, I drink a lot of coffee every day, all day. <laughs> do you go jogging? Tessero, do you, um, do you take walks? Okay, Tessero, do you take walks? Helga, do you eat ice cream in winter? Uh, not very much, not too often. Not often. Do you like country music? Do you go shopping? Okay, Sasan, we don't need to. 
do you go shopping? Or do you go, yeah, do you go shopping? So, do you go shopping? Lisa, do you smile all the time? Yes, I do. I think it's very important. Gosh, hello. Do you play basketball? Good. One, do you like eating toothpaste? No, I don't. <laughs> don't eat toothpaste. Good, good, good. Hanan, uh, do you... Do you do your homework? Yes, I do. Do you play video games? 14. Trolley, do you wake up late? Lucini, do you walk in the park? Do you walk in the park? Do you have a pet? These are what, what, lots of sentences, everyone. Very good. Okay, I'm, I'm looking at the clock. We got to change activities now. Gosh, do you go... Swimming. We don't need four. Do you go swimming? Do you go swimming? Manuel, how do you say in English? <laughs> so that's Spanish. My Spanish isn't very good. Um, I'm not sure. Someone, can someone translate that into English? Manuel, um, I'm not sure how to, that's Spanish. Uh, muy poquito habla español. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Okay, let's change activities. All right, so we got to go. I'm looking at the clock. We're almost an hour already, and we still have more to do. Okay, our third activity is going to be a video and worksheet. A video and worksheet. Here we go. Number three. One, two. Okay, let's put three right here. Activity number three. Ten. Very short conversations. Okay, and um, video and worksheet. So first we're going to watch a video. Then we're going to do the worksheet. And my worksheet is on my Patreon page. So if you support me on Patreon and you get all the worksheets we do here in our live stream classes. So please do that. That would be great. Here is the worksheet. Before we do the worksheet, we're going to watch the video. Okay, so I'm going to put the video on the screen. Let's watch it together. We're going to do it together like we did this conversation, okay? So um, there's two parts. Part one, let's say the sentences together. And then part two, we will take turns, okay? Here we go. Let's um, first watch the video. No, that's the worksheet. There we go. There's the video. Uh-oh. Uh hold on, hold on. It's not moving. I can't... Something's wrong. Okay. Woo I thought we had a problem. <laughs> Houston, we got a problem. No, so um, here we go. We're going to enlarge it. Okay, good, Carlos. Thank you, buddy. Coffee. Coffee. Yay, coffee. Okay, let's make it a little bit smaller. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, let's do the video. Let's practice together. Here we go. Let me move in a little. Okay, okay. And I'm going to roll it here. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're going to practice saying the sentence together three times. Here we go. May I help you? May I help you? May I help you? Okay. Today's coffee, please. Today's coffee, please. Today's coffee, please. May I help you? Today's coffee, please. Am I next? Am I next? Am I next? <clears throat> Am 
Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Am I next? Yes, you are. The doctor will see you now. The doctor will see you now. The doctor will see you now. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. The doctor will see you now. I don't want to go. Have a safe trip. Have a safe trip. Have a safe trip. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a safe trip. Thank you. Your order is ready. Your order is ready. Your order is ready. Good. I'm really hungry. Good. I'm really hungry. Good. I'm really hungry. Your order is ready. Good. I'm really hungry. What are you watching? What are you watching? What are you watching? A horror movie. A horror movie. A horror movie. What are you watching? A horror movie. Wanna play? Wanna play? Wanna play? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Want to play? Yes, I do. Could I get something to eat? Could I get something to eat? Could I get something to eat? Yes, just a second. Yes, just a second. Yes, just a second. Could I get something to eat? Yes, just a second. How was your weekend? How was your weekend? How was your weekend? It was fun. How was yours? It was fun. How was yours? It was fun. How was yours? How was your weekend? It was fun. How was yours? It was nice seeing you. It was nice seeing you. It was nice seeing you. Let's stay in touch. Let's stay in touch. Let's stay in touch. Okay, now we're going to take turns, okay? We're going to role play, all right? So I'm going to be 
Um, well, you'll see here. So now it's time for us to um, role play. It's time for us to be the conversations, okay? Here we go. Okay, let's take turns. I will go first. I will be the yellow sentences and you will go second. You will be the blue sentences. May I help you? Am I next? The doctor will see you now. Have a safe trip. Your order is ready. What are you watching? Want to play? Could I get something to eat? How was your weekend? It was nice seeing you. Okay, let's switch. You will go first. You will be the yellow sentences and I will go second. I will be the blue sentences. Today's coffee, please. Yes, you are. I don't want to go. Thank you. Good, I'm really hungry. A horror movie. Yes, I do. Yes, just a second. It was fun. How was yours?
Let's stay in touch. Okay, that was it. Yeah. Okay, good, 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 everyone. So that was the video. We practiced the video together. Now it's time to do the worksheet, okay? So let's do the worksheet now. Remember, you get the worksheet on my Patreon. And let's, there it is right there. Let's bring it up. Okay, so let's take a look at the worksheet. Okay, here we go. Let's have, so we have, um, you can see here, so we have the conversation and then below the conversation, we have a pattern and then example. So for number one, the conversation, may I help you? Today's coffee, please. The, the pattern, may I? Example, may I use this towel? Number two, conversation. Am I next? Yes, you are. Pattern, am I? Example, am I at the right place? Number three, whoops. Okay. Conversation three. The doctor will see you now. I don't want to go. Pattern, I don't want to. Example, I don't want to watch TV. Okay, so we're going to continue like that. Okay, here we go. Number four. Number four. Conversation. Have a safe trip. Thank you. Pattern. Have a safe example. Have a safe drive. Number five. Conversation. Your order is ready. Good. I'm really hungry. Pattern. Your mm is ready. Example. Your suit is ready. Conversation number six. What are you watching? A horror movie. Pattern. What are you? Example. What are you making? Number seven. Number seven. Conversation. Want to play? Yeah, I do. Or yes, I do. Right? Uh-oh. Yeah or yes, same, same meaning. Pattern, wanna. Example, wanna get a sandwich? Conversation number eight. Could I get something to eat? Yes, just a second. Pattern, could I get? Example, could I get a drink? Conversation number nine. How was your weekend? It was fun. How was yours? Pattern. How was your? Example. How was your hike? And then number 10. It was nice seeing you. Let's stay in touch. It was. Pattern. It was. Example. It was a good movie. Now, for the worksheet, so here you write the conversation, your own conversation using the the pattern so for example um, may i and then example may i use this towel may i use this towel yes please do right and so you write your own conversations using the pattern below okay so here today in the chat please um, make sentences using the patterns so for example, number one, pattern number one, may I, pattern number two, am I, pattern number three, I don't want to, pattern number four, have a safe, pattern number five, your mm is ready, pattern number six, what are you, pattern number seven, wanna, Pattern number eight, could I get? Pattern number nine, how was your? Okay, so in the chat, let's see your patterns. Let's see your sentences. Okay, Charlie, number one, may I drink your coffee? 
<laughs> okay, Helga, may I pop in? Oh, I like it. I like it for sure. Nice, Helga. Now, everyone, may I pop in, meaning may I come in? May I come in for a short time? May I pop in, meaning can I come in for a short time? Good one. Evelyn, hello, Evelyn. How are you doing? Helga number two, am I going the right way? Yes, that's important. Directions, know that. Umesh, may I um, go out? Tetsuro, am I correct? You sure are. You sure are. Honey, may I talk to my doctor, please? Good, good. Uh, Lucine, may I use your bike? Good, Sasan. Am I at the right place? Yes, you are. Cecilia, may I try this? Yes, of course. Cora, may I drive your car? No way. <laughs> Cecilia, am I right? Yes, you are right. You are right. Or you're right. Tetsuro, you should go see a dentist. I don't want to go there. <laughs> Veronica, may I borrow your pencil? Yes, of course. <laughs> Umesh, am I ugly? No, you are not. Good. All right, uh, never. Am I able to speak English fluently? Yes, you will be able to. You will be able to. Sasan, I do not watch TV. You can go to the zoo. Or, I do not watch TV. Let's go to the zoo. Let's go to the zoo. Carlos, may I help you? Thank you, I'm just looking. Tetsuro. No, no, no. Carlos, may I help you? Um, okay, Carlos, may I help you? No, thank you. I'm just looking. No, thank you. I'm just looking. Tetsuo, have a safe vacation. Thanks a million. Evelyn, hold on, I missed it. Evelyn, may I go to the restroom? Good. Cecilia, uh, may I take you to the dentist now? No, I don't want to go right now. Helga, um, they say the war can come Again, in my city, I don't want to go away. Uh, Helga, good luck. Cecilia, have a great day. Thanks, Tetsuro. Your bike is ready. I'm happy to hear that. I don't want to leave. Or I'm not sure, Umesh. I, one more time, Umesh. I don't, Lucine, am I? Okay, wait, 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 Lucine. Am I next? Am I, let's see, am I, oh, hold on, hold on. Lucini, um, am I next? Am I next after you? Am I next after you? Okay, am I next after you? Cecilia, your stuff is ready. Nice stuff. <laughs> uh, Blue Sky, may I study English with you here? Yes, you can. Kadeen, am I wrong? No, you're correct. Okay, your test, is, your test result is ready. Tetsuo, um, what are you reading? A funny novel. Sasan, your suit is ready. I am so happy. Thank you. Umesh, your coffee, your coffee is ready. Thank you. I'm super thirsty. Helga, your coffee's ready. Good. I need a duplicate. Or actually, duplicate is like for a photocopying. So you would say, um, I need another one. Oh, oh, key? You said coffee? Oh, your key is ready. Okay, duplicate for key. That works. Okay. Helga, I'm sorry. I read it wrong. Your, your key is ready. Good. I need a duplicate. That's good, Helga. Perfect. Evelyn, may I take the next Saturday off, please? No way. <laughs> no, you cannot. Uh, Matsuda, may I help? May I help with your English? May I help you with your English? Good. May I help you with your English? Yes, please. Neva, what are you doing here? Tetsuro, want to go skiing? Yes, of course. There's lots of snow in the mountains right now. Lots of snow on the mountains. May I stay here? Sit down, please. 
Helgo, what are you writing? A message in the chat. A message in the chat. Your cake is ready. Thank you. Have a safe time. Want to go for a walk? Want to try? I'll... Yeah, I do. Okay, let's look down here. You guys are doing really good. Everyone today, everybody, today you guys are like, today is like, you guys are on the ball today. Everyone's doing really well. Lots of, lots of good stuff. Not many mistakes. Not, not many mistakes. Everyone is doing really well. I'm very, very happy to see your sentences. Oh no, Kayleen says the principal will see you now. <laughs> what did I do wrong? Sasan, what are you making? I am making a toy box. I am making a toy box. Matsura, may I, may I take, may I take you to my house? May I take you to my house? Yes, please. May I take you to my house? Yes, please. Helga, could I get a free sample? Yes, here you are. Umesh, could I have Mr. John on stage? Yes, I'm here. Number nine, Tetsuro. How was your mother? She was getting better. How was yours? How was your exam? It was boring. Wanna play? Okay, hun, hun, wanna play with me? Wanna play with me? So, wanna means do you want to? Do you, so, um, hun, do you want to play with me? Or you get a third person. So you can't say the second person, do you wanna play with you? No, no, no. Do you wanna play with uh, John? Or do you wanna play with Kim? Or, do you, or you can say, do you wanna play with me? So it's either the first person or the third person. You can't use the second person. Okay, Umesh, how was your breakfast? It was good, Cecilia. How was your day? Um, it was boring. Okay, so uh, Cecilia, how was your day? And then day is a thing, so you have to say it, okay? It, day is not a person, day is a thing, so it was boring. Roberto, am I late? No, you're on time. Tetra, it was, it was an advanced gadget. I couldn't agree more. So it was an advanced gadget. Carlos, what are you watching? The Astros. Go Dodgers. <laughs> Go Dodgers. Car uh, Cecilia, it was a nice day. It sure, or uh, I agree. That's better. I agree. Helga, Helga, it was an awful year. Let's forget it. <laughs> yes. Want to get a sandwich? Sure, just one minute. Good, Sasan. Matsura, uh, may I take you? Sorry, 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 I missed it. Okay, uh, Matsura, may I take you with me? Yes, but okay, may I take you with me? Or may I take you with us? So you can't have both, me, us, no, no. May I take you with us? Or may I take you with me? Okay, choose one. Okay, Madalena. The food is ready. I'm very hungry, thank you. Hello, Marlene. Sasan, could I get a drink? Sorry, I do not have one. Or I do not have any. Could I get a drink? Sorry, I do not have any. Roberto, I don't want to wake up early. Helga, what are you writing? A message in the chat, good. Umesh. It was nice seeing you. Yes, let's stay in touch. Tetsuro, it was an advanced gadget. Yes, Veronica, 
Um, how was your first day of school? It was a great day. Saima, how was your day? It was a wonderful day. Mubark, it was a it was a useful lesson. Good, Mubark. Yeah. How was your weekend? Could you take me to the store? I need some eggs, milk, and bread. Good, Evelyn. So remember, everyone, you can get the worksheet on my Patreon. Support me on Patreon and get these worksheets. They're all there. There are many, 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 many um, worksheets there on my Patreon. Many, close to 100 probably. And um, they're in PDF form, so you, you can print them out and you can, um, you can practice your English anytime with these worksheets. So go to my Patreon, support me there. It's like $5 a month for all these worksheets. Okay, good job, everyone. Okay, I'm looking at the clock. Let, let's change activities. You guys had great sentences. Very good, everyone. Yeah, well done. Yes, yes, yes. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> I got, I'm gonna have some water now. Cheers, I'm gonna have some water. Okay, good job. Well, let's let's go to another worksheet. We're gonna do we're gonna we're just gonna keep doing more practice, everyone. We're doing more and more practice. The practice is not stopping. No, no, the practice is continuing. We're doing another worksheet, everyone. Another worksheet, believe it or not, yes. Believe it or not, we are doing another one. <laughs> and our next worksheet is a worksheet of idioms, or uh, of an idiom. So this is number four. So here we got one, two, three. We got number four. We don't have much space on the board, do we? Um, let's write number four. Let's do it right here. Number four, idiom. And our idiom today is cut corners. Cut corners. And um, that means to do something in the cheapest way. To do something in the cheapest way, cut corners. And I'm going to show you a worksheet on the screen. And you will see um, example sentences from the green team. And then we will... Um, you will write sentences using cut corners, okay? So first, let's look at some example sentences from the green team. Here we go. And first, we're gonna look at the meaning here. Okay, so cut to cut corners, to do something in the cheapest way to do something in the cheapest way. So you can see this example picture. Think quality, don't cut corners, no, don't do that. So here we go, here are some example sentences. Uh, Marion, you won't pass the exam if you cut corners when studying. You won't pass the exam if you cut corners when studying. Rita, you will succeed if you never cut corners in love. <laughs> you will never, no, 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 one more time, sorry. Rita, you will succeed if you never cut corners in love. You will succeed if you never cut corners in love. Oh, Carlos, yes. Carlos asked about my books. I always have to, I have to do this, yes. Right here, 50 Very Short Conversations. Um, Carlos, quizzes, expansion practice, scale your response. Go to, go to Amazon, just, you could just put my name. Just go to Amazon, put my name, and you will see my books. So you can, yep, do it. Do it, buddy. 
Okay, let's continue here. Air lady, I don't like to cut corners when I have company over for dinner. Oh, Carlos, thank you so much. One more time. I don't like to cut corners when I have company over for dinner. Miley, if you want to do a perfect job, don't cut corners. If you want to do a perfect job, don't cut corners. Candy, housework is hard every day. So sometimes you have to cut corners. Housework is hard every day. So sometimes you have to cut corners. Junior, they're always finding ways to cut corners. They're always finding ways to cut corners. Okay, coming down here. Okay, Raj. If guests come to our home, we must respect them and we shouldn't cut corners. If guests come to our home, we must respect them and we shouldn't cut corners. Lolly, when I invite my friends out, I don't cut corners. Caviar and champagne at will. When I invite friends out, I don't cut corners. Caviar and champagne at will. Mary, if I cut corners, the project will be finished by Monday. If I cut corners, the project will be finished by Monday. Best Gamer, some football teams usually cut corners when they buy new players. Some football teams usually cut corners when they buy new players. Okay, yeah, yeah, Carlos. Good, good sentences for sure. Now it's time for your sentences, everyone. Okay, let's see. Let's see your sentences in the chat. Cut corners, cut corners. Let's see your sentences using cut corners. Oh yeah, Carlos, Carlos. Um, when you buy my book, make sure you write a good review <laughs> or mark a star for me. All right, Carlos. So um, if you buy a book, Please write a review like, ah, good. I like the book. <laughs> I like Mark's books. Okay. Okay, blue sky. You won't have, okay, you won't, okay, you won't get in good shape if you cut corners. Okay, blue sky, here we go. You won't get in good shape. You won't get in. Have, we don't say have. You won't get in good shape if you cut corners in exercise. Good. Hello, Corey. Mwah. Oh, thank you, Carlos. Thank you. Cheers, Carlos. Appreciate it. Umesh, I always cut corners when buying toys for my children. Oh, no. Uh, um, Cora, what do you want me to write on the board? Please tell me what you want me to write on the board. Tetsuro, the, de the developer cut corners in building... Okay, okay. Um, in the building in our area. Okay, Tetsuro, the developer cut corners in the building in our area. Oh, oh, that's bad. Anna, hello, Anna. Evelyn, I have to cut corners sometimes because I feel tired. Good, good, good. Predator, ah, uh, hello, hello. Blue sky, you won't get in good shape. There you go. Okay, Ripa. Bangladesh is here. Welcome, welcome, Ripa. Abdul. D 
Did you have a nice day? Well, here it's still morning for me. So I, I'm, I'm happy. I think to, every day is a good day for me. Every day. Okay, Umesh. Um, he cut corners when buying electronic devices. Good. Tetsuro, the, the, the <laughs> oh boy, the developer cut corners in the building in our area. Good, good. Sasan, to learn English well, you should not cut corners when teacher when you when your teacher is Mark. <laughs> Sasan, thank you. Cora. Yeah, okay, Cora, you won't have, okay, no, no, you won't get in good shape if you cut corners. You won't get, but I think, didn't you change that? Yeah, so you, you won't get in good shape, Cora. Let's see, Matsa, uh, most builders make the mistake of cutting corners. Yeah, builders, if you're making something, don't cut corners because it's dangerous. People can, you know, get hurt. People can get hurt if you cut corners. People can get hurt if you cut corners. Oh, hello, Marie. I'm doing good. How are you, Marie? Okay, Sasan. Sasan's happy. Okay, Tetsuro, cutting corners leads. Let's see. You should do your best every day. Okay, okay, Tetsuro. Cutting corners does not lead to success. Cutting corners does not lead to success. Cutting corners does not lead to success. Okay, Carlos, you won't feel better if you cut corners in your medicine. Good. Umesh, cutting corners is not my business. Nice. Umesh, that's a good, that would be a good, um, you know, uh, uh, like, a, like a good logo for you, for your business. Cutting corners is not my business. Air lady, don't try to cut corners when you are decorating. Good, good, air lady. Don't try cutting corners when you are decorating. Don't try cutting corners when you are decorating. Okay, we're going to go two more minutes and then we're going to change activities, okay? We're going to do two, mi two more minutes and we will change activities after two minutes. There you go, Tetsuro. Cutting corners does not lead to success. Okay, Evelyn. I couldn't cut corners today with the kids on the bus. They let a lot of things on the floor. Oh, they, 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 um, they left a lot of things on the floor. Evelyn, they left. A lot of things on the floor. Oh, those kids. They shouldn't. Don't litter, kids. Do not litter. Pick up your trash. Pick up your trash. Let's see, Umesh. In a space mission, cutting corners. And the mission was still, okay, Umesh, I'm not sure. Simon, can you make conversation with Tex about firefighting profession? Actually, I have a video of a, I have one. It's an old one. I went, um, Simon, I went to a fire station and I asked the, the firefighters if I could take pictures. And I went into the fire station and took lots of pictures and um, made a video and you just search my search my uh my videos for 
um, firefighters maybe or in a police or fire station maybe check that out in a fire station I, I made a video of um, vocabulary in uh, a in a fire station fire station vocabulary I I made a video so check it out it was a long time ago they were very kind to me I go may I take pictures and they go sure go ahead and I w walked around the, the the fire truck and took pictures of all the the the, the, the hoses and and, and uh, valves and 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 everything okay let's see you shouldn't cut corners in cooking if you want to eat delicious meals I agree okay good don't cut corners if you want to learn English says Mubarak Manuel oh thank you Manuel I appreciate it okay we're gonna change activities okay 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 <laughs> here is our next activity okay so I want to say one more time all the worksheets are on my patreon page support me there it's like five dollars a month and you get all the worksheets we we do here in our live stream class there are lots and lots and lots of worksheets so please um, go there support me on patreon and you get all the worksheets okay let's go to we're doing another worksheet one more worksheet okay here we go this is our last activity activity number five and number five is which one is different which one is different okay right here right number five right here and, and the topic is fire fire and I'll show you the worksheet and we're gonna I'm gonna put it on the screen so everyone can see easily okay here's the worksheet this is 51 worksheet number 51 which one is different I have a book same same I same which one is different amazon.com lots of these activities in this book okay let's have a look oh before we we do it I always give this well okay hold on. let me open it and then I will give you the example okay so we have so you can see here that there are four activities right or no there are four items one two three four and so how we do this which one is different so for example red blue bicycle pink red blue bicycle pink which one is different bicycle is different because it is transportation bicycle is different because it has two wheels bicycle is different because it, it moves bicycle is different because you have one bicycle is different because it can go fast right so no, your own idea there's no wrong answers okay so here we go these are our first let me make it a little bit larger okay so we have our first we have our first items one two three four so our four items our four things are a campfire a fire extinguisher a match a lighter which one is different and why which one is different and why again a campfire a fire extinguisher a match a lighter which one is different and why a campfire a fire extinguisher a match a lighter which one is different and why so in the chat tell me which one is different and the reason so it's difficult right you have to um, explain your idea you have to tell us why you think that is different 
that one is different in English. You have to use your imagination. You have to um, use some critical thinking skills. Okay, Helga's on the board. Helga, I think the fire extinguisher is different because it puts out the fire. Okay, Cora, okay, fire extinguisher because it can overcome the others. Yes, a fire extinguisher because it can overcome the others. Umesh, a fire extinguisher because it produces carbon dioxide gas. Evelyn, I think the fire extinguisher is different because we can prevent the fire with this. Yeah, yeah, so the other. So, Cora, fire extinguisher because it can overcome the others. Oh, I like it, Air Lady. I think a fire extinguisher because it can save lives. I like it, Air Lady. It can save lives for sure. Yes, that's the purpose, right? Save, save people and things, right? So a fire, a fire extinguisher can save people and things, right? Like your house or your car or, you know, uh, whatever. <laughs> Put out the fire. Put out the fire. Okay, Helga, I think a campfire is different because this fire is big. All right, yeah, a match is small, right? Just a little match, lighter, tch, tch. but campfire is much bigger. Good one, Helga. Umesh, a fire extinguisher because the others have flames. No wrong answer, everyone. No wrong answer, just your imagination, yes. Your idea, your, your, your thinking, <laughs> your brain, your head. Matra, I think a match because we use it to light a fire. We use it to light a fire. Oh, all right, Carlos, nice, nice. Yeah, if you like this, Carlos, um, right here, which one is different? And lots of practice, lots of vocabulary, yeah. So lots of this practice here. Which one is different? Amazon.com. Okay, Air Lady, I think a fire extinguisher because it can save lives. Yes. Helga, I think a match is different because you can light a fire with it. You can light a fire with it. Mike, the fire extinguisher is mandatory everywhere for safety. Yes. That's right. You see, um, every building you go into, there's a fire extinguisher, but not a campfire, not a match, not a liar but a fire extinguisher. Okay, so, um, Lucini, I think fire extinguisher because it's not a toy. No. Mubarak, I think a fire extinguisher because um, it's used by firefighters. It's used by firefighters. One more time, Mubarak. It's used by firefighters. Umesh, a match because you have to scratch it against um, glass paper or just you have to scratch it against a surface. You have to scratch it against a surface. Yes. Tetsuro, I think a campfire because we can dance and sing songs around it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good, Tetsuro. I like it. I like that one. I like that sentence. Blue sky, I think campfire is different because it is when we will go to, when we will go camping. We will, okay, blue sky, a campfire is different because we will make one. 
when we go camping. We will make one when we go camping. Tetsu, I think a fire extinguisher because it can extinguish fire. <laughs> Roberto, a fire extinguisher is different because it puts out the fire. The others produce the fire. Helga, I think a lighter is different because um, it is an ignition device. Sasan, I think a fire extinguisher because it extinguishes the fire, but the others are, but the others start a fire. Start a fire. Evelyn, I think the lighter is different because with this, you can start a fire. We have to take care. Yes, be careful. We have to be careful. Okay, let's look at the um, second group. Okay, here we go. Group two. Group two. A candle, a torch, a barbecue, a fire alarm. Which one is different and why? Group two keywords. A candle, a torch, a barbecue, a fire alarm. Which one is different? Kadeen, I think a campfire because we have to build it. I like it. Tetra, I think a match because it is outdated. I like it. Yes. I don't think, yeah, it's outdated for sure. Before, you, you could go to a restaurant. If you went to a restaurant, there was matches, right? Like, um, they'd have like the restaurant name on the matches or, you know, people would use matches for advertisement, but not anymore. It's outdated or they are outdated. Okay, Mubarak, I think a lighter because it has silicon, silicon. Tetsuro, I think a lighter because it is more advanced than a match. Good, Tetsuro. Cora, I think a campfire is different because with it, you can kill the cold in the night for sure. That's why we build the campfire to keep warm, right, Cora? Out there in the, in the in nature, in the mountains, in the desert, it gets cold at night, so we build a campfire to stay warm. Mike, an alarm because it warns when there is a fire or yeah, it warm. Okay, Mike, the alarm because it warns us when there is a fire. It warns us when there is a fire. Oh, Umesh, a campfire, it needs wood. Yes. Kareen, I think a fire alarm because we can hear it. Good, good, good. Helga, I think a fire alarm is different because it warns of a possible fire. Manuel. Oh, um... Okay, good, good question, Manuel. Manuel asks, what's the difference between thing and items? N no, no difference. So, Manuel, I like it, I like it. Good, good, good question, Manuel. So, an item and, and a thing, same thing, same, same. So, um, thing is more casual. It's more, so if you, hmm. So if you're talking to your friends, you go, oh, I got this thing, right? Oh, I got, I got this thing at the store. And then maybe if you, if you uh, go to a store and you have a question for the staff, you ask, oh, I'm looking for a writing item, or right? Where like your friends, you go, oh, I got this writing thing. So um, thing is more casual, item is more proper. Okay, good question, but yep, same, same, same. Okay, Air Lady, I think a fire alarm because it is very important for everyone, so it will tell us when a fire is coming. Okay, good, good. Okay, Air Lady, I think a fire alarm be Okay, you, okay, one more time. Okay, Evelyn, I think a fire alarm is different because it can prevent a fire. It can 
prevent. Okay, Umesh, a candle because it melts and vanishes in thin air. Good. Cecilia, I think a candle because it, it's um, theromatic, theromatic, or aromatic, theromatic. Yes, Manuel, it is the same. Mubarak, I think a candle because the candle gives a fragrant smell. Good. Tetsuo, I think a candle because it melts. Air Lady, I think a fire alarm because it is very important for everyone. So it will tell us when the, um, the fire is on. So it will save many lives. Good, Air Lady. Helga, I think a candle is different because it is made from wax originally. Anna, I think a lighter is different because you have to pay attention to use it, to use it. Okay, Anna, I think a lighter is different because you have to pay attention to use it, to use it. Tetsuro, I think a torch because it has a grip. Good, good, good. All right, Umash, a torch because it's used in the Olympics. Yes. Good. So no wrong answers. Your imagination, everyone. Good. Everyone is thinking hard. Everyone is thinking very hard right now. Everyone is coming up with great original sentences, great original ideas. Very good. This is, I love this activity because I can see how you are thinking. I can see that you are trying hard to think of ideas. Helga, I think a barbecue is different because there are pleasant associations with it. I agree. I always, I'm always happy when I'm barbecuing. Mike, the alarm warns when there is a danger of fire. A danger of fire. Okay, Mike, a danger of fire. Good. Anna, Yay, to use it. Yes. You guys doing good. I like it. I like it. Kating, I think a torch because it was used many years ago. Yeah, before electricity, right? Kating, like a long time ago, there was not light, electricity. No, they're using fire, they're using torches to see at night. Trolley, uh, I think a fire alarm because it's loud. Good trolley. Tetsuo, I think a barbecue because we can eat yummy food through a barbecue or with a barbecue or um, let's see, not through a barbecue, Tetsuo. I think a barbecue because we can eat yummy food with a barbecue, with, with, that's better, with. Carlos, um, I think fire extinguisher because I don't, it doesn't have a flame. Okay, Carlos. I think a fire, fire extinguisher because it does not have a flame. It does not have a flame. Umesh, a barbecue because it's really enjoyable. Yes, I agree. Mubar, I think a fire alarm because it doesn't have, or it doesn't have, or it doesn't, make a fire. A fire alarm, it doesn't make a fire, Mubarak. It doesn't make a fire. Helga, I think a torch is different because it is an ancient lamp. Yes. Tetsuo, I think a fire alarm because it generates a big sound. A big sound. Okay, Garcia, I think a fire extinguisher because all houses in Berlin need. Okay, um, all houses should have one, maybe should have one. I, I agree. I don't have one. <laughs> I should have one. I don't have one in my house, but I should have one. Maybe I'll go. Yeah, let's all, everyone go get a fire extinguisher. To keep your house safe. Saima, a barbecue is different because we cook and enjoy it as well. 
Okay, Ripa. Uh, a fire extinguisher is different because it is safe. It, it will save our life. It will save our life. It will save our life. Evelyn, I think the candle is different because we can blow on the cake when it is someone. Yes, yes. Okay. How about this, Evelyn? I think the candle is different because we use it on a, we use it, we use it on a birthday candle. We use it on a birthday candle. Or no, no, we use it on a birthday cake. A candle because we use them on a birthday cake. We use them on a birthday cake. However, my, we can't use them on my cake because there's too many candles. <laughs> For me, um, I would need too many candles. So don't, don't, don't put them on my cake. Let's see, Tetsuo, I think a barbecue because we can eat yummy food with a barbecue. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, uh, Umesha fire alarm because in a Charlie Chaplin movie, it doesn't hear even if it was loud. Yeah, there, actually, I was, you, can, you can see the Charlie Chaplin movies on YouTube and a couple, there are a fire alarm there's one with the fire department, pretty funny. Um, Sasan, what, I don't understand. What do you think? I, what's your question? Did I miss it? So Sasan, please ask, ask me a question. So when you say, what do you think? I don't know what you're, what you're talking about. How was your birthday party? <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Okay, Cora. I think a torch is different because it's the oldest invented thing by the by men. Yes. Back in the back in the cave cave days, cavemen days. They used torches. Tetsuro. I think a fire alarm because it generates a big sound. Good. Oh, what do I think? Okay, okay, good, Sasan. Let's see. Um, group one, campfire, fire extinguisher, a match, a lighter. I'm going to say, let's see. Um, of course, fire extinguisher, that's the... But I'm going to use, I'm going to say a lighter because it uses uh, butane gas. A, a lighter because it uses butane gas. And then group two keywords, a candle, a torch, a barbecue, a fire alarm. Uh, I like all your, uh, lots of good sentences. I'm going to say a candle because we use one in our house. We use it in our house. A torch, we don't use in our house. Barbecue, we don't use in our house. Fire alarm, we don't use in our house. But a candle, we use in our house. So I'm gonna say candle because we use it in our house. And I will say lighter because it uses um, butane gas. <laughs> Evelyn. My cake will be covered with candles too. Yeah, too many candles, huh, Evelyn? <laughs> oh, okay, good. Well, um, let's see. Matsura says, uh, I think a torch is different because it's very old. Yeah, Matsura, that's a good, I like that one. Okay, you know what? Let's say goodbye for now <laughs> all right good good job everyone yeah good job good job um thank you so much everyone i really appreciate it and remember get the worksheets on my patreon page so go there support me i think it's five dollars a month you get all the worksheets 
that we do in the live stream classes. You can um, print them out. They're in PDF form and lots of great practice. You could do it with me in the live stream class or um, on your own, self-study. Also, um, books, Amazon.com, check those out. Also, if you want your name in green, join the Friendly Green team. Support me so I can support you. And I also have a website, markkulik.com, where you can download worksheets and flashcards that go with my videos. The, the Patreon are worksheets we do in our live stream class on my website. On my the, the website, you do um, the worksheets go with my videos. Oh, the poll! Katie, I forgot about the poll. Let's, let's, okay, we're not going yet, not yet. We got to look at the poll first. And this is a quiz, yeah? So in the chat, the blue box on top of the chat, there is a poll. Mubarak, thank you, buddy. Mwah, very kind of you. Mubarak, right here. There's your name right there, Mubarak. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it, buddy. Mwah, thank you so much. Um, yay. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, let, let's do. Salute, buddy. Salute. Here's to you. All right. Appreciate it. I do. I do. It really helps. Everything helps. Mubarak, thank you so much. Thanks, buddy. And um, yeah, let's look at the poll. Blue box. It's a quiz today. And you have to finish. Well, you have to answer. What, what's a bird's mouth? A bird's mouth is, we have a wing, a claw, a beak, or a feather. Which one is a bird's mouth? Is it a wing? Is it a claw? Is it a beak? Or is it a feather? One more time. A bird's mouth is a wing, a claw, a beak, or a feather. And... Um, 25% said it's a wing. 15% said it's a claw. 52% said it's a beak. 8% said it's a feather. And 144 people voted. Thank you everyone for doing that. Mwah, appreciate that. And the answer is, yes, it's a beak. <laughs> That's a beak. You know, a bird has a beak. We have a mouth, we have lips, a bird has a beak. All right. Good job, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. And um, yeah, so our next class will be, our next class will be on Tuesday. Oh, right here we have, I'm here on Tuesdays, 5 p.m. Japan time. I'm here on Wednesdays, 5 p.m. Japan time. I'm here on Fridays, 10 a.m. Japan time. I'm here on Saturdays, 10 a.m. Japan time. So our next class will be Tuesday. Tuesday, January 31st. Whoa, the last day of the year. I will be here. Yes, January 31st is our next live stream class please be here for our last for the last day in january january 31st 5 p.m japan time i hope to see you then until then have a good weekend be safe smile stay healthy <laughs> peace and love Mwah. okay let's count down Oh, Manuel, are you okay? 3 a.m., are you okay for that, Manuel? Are you okay? Kating, have a great weekend. Thank you. Mwah. Peace and love, Anna. Trolley, take it easy. Okay, let's count down to saying goodbye, okay? And, and Mubarak, one more time. Mubarak, thank you. 
Evelyn, thank you. Evelyn, she's, a, she's on the green team and she also supports me on Patreon. So, um, Evelyn, thank you for your kind, kind support. Air Lady's on the green team. Thank you, Air Lady. Thank you for your kind support. And Mubarak, thank you for today. Okay, let's say goodbye together. Here we go. Let's count down, shall we? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great weekend. Smile. Stay healthy. Be safe. Love and peace. I will be back on Tuesday, January 31st, 5 p.m. Japan time. I hope to see you then. Until then, take it easy. Bye. Thank you. See you.